Hey, Jason, uh, Davide here from, from Italy. Um, what do you think about your season so far, uh, the, the Celtics season, I mean? Uh, I mean, we had some ups and downs. Um, I think with just how new everything is and just how we adjust into um, new life in the NBA. Uh, obviously, some games we wish we had back, but You know, we, we started out the season in our first 11 games or so pretty well. And obviously, we had to, um, to postpone some games and guys was out, including myself, um, just some things that we weren't used to. But uh, it's not just us, everybody dealing with it. So uh, we just try to figure it out. Tim Bontemps. Hey, Jason. Uh, I was just curious. Obviously, this is a way different West Coast trip than you guys are usually used to in the middle of uh, the pandemic. Um, I was just curious kind of what it's been like compared to what past trips have been. Uh, I mean, ain't much to do. You know, stay in the room. Uh, I mean, yeah, that's, that, I mean, that's the biggest difference. You know, we just in the room, you know, go from back to the gym, back to our room and chill. So it's time to go play. Uh, obviously, playing at Stable Center with no fans um, was different, but it is what it is. And then just out of curiosity, now that it seems like there's going to be an all-star game, I was curious what your thoughts were on the potential of doing that in the middle of all this that's going on. Uh, I, don't, I don't know. Um, you would like to think that the NBA would, you know, make it as safe as possible. They wouldn't do anything to put it in, in harm's way. Um, I feel like for the most part, they've done a great job of trying to keep us safe. You can't control everything. But I do understand the concerns about it, especially um, in Atlanta. So, um, you know, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Gary Washburn. Hey, Jason. Uh Two questions, just one specifically on the steal on Kawhi. I mean, I, I think this might have been the game you've played against him the most one-on-one. -on -one. What was that like? And then secondly, how different is it to get your offense going when, when basically you're playing point forward and, you're, and you have to initiate the offense? Uh, you, know, I, you know, people know I, I enjoy those matchups, obviously. He's one of the best players. Um, he's accomplished so much, um, you know, especially somebody in my position who's just that's older than you, that's accomplished a lot. You know, you just want to uh, just compete. That's all it is on both ends. Um, so to... Hey, Jason, do you see this as being kind of one of the signature wins that could uh, propel the group, given how down you guys were tonight, man wise, and the, the quality of the opponent? and Is there something different in terms of what you look for from yourself when uh, you know, Jalen's out? Yeah, I think this is a, a good winning aspect, like you said, coming off a loss, down, down a few guys. But, um, you know, I think for my time being here, regardless of who we have playing, you know, we always feel like, you know, we don't give ourselves a chance to win. Um, You know, and, and there's always next man up until we got a lot of talented guys on this team that work extremely hard. And I know it has to be tough, um, you know, when they're uncertain about when they're going to play. And, you know, um, you know, coach, you know, when you get your number called, you know, being ready. And um, I, that's extremely tough. So I commend all those guys that, you know, don't necessarily know when they're going to play um, and, and come in and make an impact on the game. And, like they did tonight. So it was a big team win in that aspect. Um, you know, I was proud of those guys. Final question for Jason, Jared Weiss. Jason, you've been trying to really work on how you handle double teams and, you know, they were doubling and blitzing you a lot tonight and you guys were doing the same thing to Kawhi Leonard. So I'm wondering, how do you feel like you've grown in that aspect? And then especially after seeing, how Kawhi was able to thrive against that. Where do you think you need to get to next to get to his level? I need to work on it. Uh, obviously, it's going to continue to happen. 
So uh, I have a lot of practice with it. But watching film, seeing what I can do better. Uh, try not to turn the ball over like I did today.